Evans. Kristen Rogers joins us live right now. She's from outside Nagel Grain Company in Prairie Bird. Ron, you can see behind me this mess here, but this is actually much improved from what it was when I was here last night. Many people spending all day today helping out, but unfortunately, this wasn't the first time that the company has dealt with something like this. It's a day of cleanup for Nagel Grain after a tornado tore through, leaving much of the company that buys and sells grain in shambles. You come in here and see something that you've uh, helped build and worked for for 25 years. You know, you think you're going to retire here and you got plenty to come back to. And it's very hard. Sadly, the second time weather has left the family business with a mess. 11 years ago was the first. Now metal grain bins left in knots, others blocks away. How it landed two blocks up and uh, didn't hit any other structures. It landed directly right in the street between two buildings. The company's trucks also taking a beating. Empty semi-trailers, I'm told, weighed around 12,000 pounds, thrown like toys across the street into this field. Despite the magnitude of the tornado, an American flag hangs on tight. Perhaps foreshadowing the strength the Prairie Bird community has and the family business that will overcome once again. My wife's grandfather started this and, uh, uh, you know, I can't even tell you how many years ago. I know uh, my father-in-law took over in 1980 and then three years ago he turned it over to uh, me and my wife. The company is still able to function in the meantime. I'm told several of the drivers actually keep their trucks at home, so they weren't here parked on site when the tornado ripped through. In fact, six of them are out and about today delivering feed. Live in Prairie Burg, Kristen Rogers, News 7, KWWL. Now, Kristen, that's really an inspiring cleanup effort, which is underway there in Lynn County. That's